Okay, this is a Bravo escape from side control. A lot of times what happens is, if he's setting up a position or working on an arm isolation, this elbow is going to come across the other side of my head, like this. This is a freebie when he does this. Sometimes when you want to set this up, you have to do it. You have to set it up yourself, maybe by kind of shrugging under, and sometimes I call that an angry sweater escape. But in any case, his arm's on the other side of my head. My lower arm near his hip is going to dive under his neck and cup is the far side of his head. This is very important. You have to cup and buy yourself a little bit of time here. We're going to push the arm across and trap it under my body or under his body. Clamp. Bridge roll. Get him up on the side. Squeeze. The arm sometimes will start here. Maybe he's got something going on here. I need to get this hand to here. It's actually not that hard. So I can cut his head, and I'm going to push the arm across and trap it. I'm going to be careful to avoid the neck crank by getting him on his side and on his back. If he's on his back, it's highly likely that the neck crank him instead of Bravo him. So he's here and he kind of flatten his back. Just roll him back. Fix your arms. And squeeze again. I'm going to hit him right here. Side of his neck one more time.